if when using Bayes' theorem, you've got your event B that you know has occurred and you're trying to go a priori, sorry, a posteriori in back, back in time to figure out what preceded that. If you, instead of have two options, say you've got three, then you would have your partition of the sample space by three things. Say a sub one, a sub two, and a sub three. Well, then here we've got the intersection of B with A1. Make sure that's shown up. Here we go. Here, B with A2. And here, B with A3 intersecting. Remember, a partition. These are mutually exclusive and their union is the entire sample space. So we would have, let me get rid of some of the previous writing here. B, what that would equal, would be a disjoint union of B intersected with A sub one union B intersected with A sub two, union B intersected with A sub three. And so on our next line, we would have that the probability of B would equal the probability of B intersect A sub one, plus the probability of B intersecting with A sub two, plus B intersecting with A sub three is probability. And why we're able to add without subtracting anything, it's because these are mutually exclusive as well. Not only are A1, A2, and A3 mutually exclusive, but these three, we have partition B as well. And I'll show the formula for Bayes' theorem in the case of a partition by three instead of two in just a moment, but it's going to follow from something similar to what we did here in the case of two. So here we go. Give you a minute to read that, but first pointing out that we're looking for the probability of a defective lamp um going back in time to it being manufactured in factory three So perhaps I should rephrase that. Knowing that it's defective, what's the probability that it was manufactured at factory three? So our previous formula, first of all, we're gonna have A being the event manufactured at factory three. And then let's see here. Okay. 
and B is the event it is defective. Let's actually call that event A sub one. B is the event that the lamp is defective. I think it was lamps they were talking about. Yes. Okay. So then we could, in fact, we'll call that A sub three because we're talking about factory three, just to make things line up nicely. Okay. So then event A sub one would be that it was manufactured at factory one. A sub two would be the event that it was manufactured at factory two. All right, so here's what we're gonna have. Numerator, where it's down in the denominator. Three terms instead of two. Last one is the same as what's in the numerator. Oh, that copy and paste didn't work out nicely. Try it again. There we go. Okay. Now, furthermore, how do I know that we are doing this a posteriori using Bayes' theorem? instead of just something where we are straight doing a conditional probability. Well, we are given the probability of B defective given that it was made of factory three. We've got this part right here. It's the 0 0.02. So, Probability it was made at factory two, 30%, sorry, factory three, 30% or 0.30. You can see that same thing as the last term in the denominator. And then the rest of the denominator, uh, we're going to have 35%, so 0.35 times 0.015. Probability that it came from factory one times the probability that given it was from factory one, that it was defective. And now the probability it came from factory two, multiplied by the probability that if it was from factory two, that it was defective. That's a 0 0.01. Bringing up the calculator here, just a moment. So I actually already put this in. The numerator is going to be 0 0.006. And then in the denominator, you're taking that and adding these two products to that. When I do the division, I would round that to 0 .04, 0 0.4068. However, as you can probably guess, that question was coming from a textbook, a little scanning of that there. Um, they rounded it to three places, and so they went with 0 0.0407. Yeah, 0 0.407. All right, now, another way this could have been typed in, we don't need parentheses around the numerator because um, multiplication and division are just as important. So we'll do the multiplying before the dividing. As for the denominator, parentheses around that though, because we have addition. 
We need that addition to be done before dividing the top by the bottom. So again, we could be typing this in all at once. Same thing, 0 0.4068 when rounded to four places. Hope that helps.